So I want to talk to you about a really cool project that we're working on. I'm here in Tribeca, New York, and behind me is, of course, the Letter 8, the firehouse they used in the movie Ghostbusters. Well, what we want to do is bring the Ghostbusters movie experience to Las Vegas. The plan is to build a scale replica of this entire building, the entire thing, all right? It's like 25 feet by 75 feet here in, uh, in New York. We want to recreate the entire building on our property here in Las Vegas. It's going to be amazing. Fans are going to be able to come visit our version of the firehouse and go for a ride in our XL1. So we're here, we're taking detailed measurements of the building. We're talking with the firefighters and other Ghostbuster fans. This is going to be a huge, huge project and we want all of you to be part of it. We're going to give you the opportunity to uh, help us crowdfund the thing where we're gonna have inscripted bricks and things on the building. We wanna pay homage to the other firefighters uh, that have been here and the people who have lost their lives as firefighters and police. And uh, we're gonna have some really special announcement, but when this thing opens in Las Vegas, you can assure yourself that all the Ghost Butcher fans in the world out there are gonna be invited to come to the premiere. So there's gonna be some exciting things happening. Um, and I'm here in New York with the real letter eight. So here it is, you guys. This is the real Hook and Ladder 8. This is in New York City. This is the actual firehouse, the exterior. It was used for Ghostbusters. And, you know, of course, we've all seen it. We've, we've had the play sets. We've had the Legos. We've had everything about it. And what I've done is, oh, look, it's the shocker. What we've done is we've taken detailed measurements of the entire length of the building, the width, the height, the bricks, all of these architectural elements. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a full scale replica, probably not three stories, because of building code uh, in Vegas, it'd probably be a two story kind of a, a version of it, but it will basically look like this. And it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna make all this facade up here, but we need to make it look like it did in the film in 1984. Here's a, kind of a shot of the alley where they keep some of their cars and things. And you can see how the building, how there's these bricks here. And then, and then these other bricks are kind of, kind of a facade over the other bricks. You know, the building at one time was twice the size. It was actually double the size of this, but they widened the road. But here's, here's a look, kind of a close-up look at the building. Of course, in the film, this was all just painted black. Now, the interior is not the same as the one that was in the film. That was the uh, another set in Los Angeles. So stay tuned uh, to Bob's Prop Shop. If you're interested in this project and you want to be a part of it and you want to follow it, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us at Bob's Prop Shop on Facebook, and we also have the Sin City Ghostbusters getting fired up in Las Vegas. Soon, You'll be able to come to Las Vegas, go for a ride, and even drive the Ecto-1. We've got a real 1959 Miller Meteor Cadillac that's being outfitted. It's going to have air conditioning, custom engine, brakes, everything, so that it'll be safe and fun to drive. But don't forget, we also have other movie cars, like the Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine and Knight Rider and all that other stuff. But this is my, uh, this has always been my dream. This is my goal. And we're going to have, <laughs> we're going to have our own Ghostbuster building in Las Vegas. The Ghostbuster Las Vegas experience is coming to you. Stay tuned. Okay guys, well I'm back from New York City 
And I'm here in Las Vegas at the Bob's Prop Shop, Las Vegas Compound. This is a pretty big facility, not too far off of the Strip, which is not only where I have my home, but where our offices will be, also our warehouse, where we'll be working on the cars and the car storage. And this little area behind me here, this is gonna be where we're gonna build the firehouse. And the firehouse is measured about 25 feet by about 75 feet, three stories. And that's approximately what we have here. We have room to build basically an exact scale replica of the entire firehouse. It's probably gonna come out to about where I'm standing here. And we're gonna have the Ecto-1, uh, you know, parked inside. There's gonna be different scenes from the movie. We'll recreate the interior. And in the back, we'll have Gozer's Temple where you'll be able to have Gozer's Wedding Temple uh, for weddings, photo opportunities. There's gonna be interactive displays and a Disney-esque style of uh, animated type of interaction. Um, you'll be able to come out here, be picked up in our Rolls-Royce uh, Phantom limousine, brought to the facility where you'll put on your suit, you'll be able to slide down the fire pole, you'll be able to go for a ride and a tour around Las Vegas in the Ecto-1 in comfort and style, visiting some of the other attractions here that we're gonna partner with. It's gonna be a huge thing. We're hoping to open uh, maybe by fall of 2022. It's gonna take us some time to build this building. We're about to get all this cleared out. We're having bulldozers come over here. We're gonna flatten this out, put in the concrete, and then start building the concrete building. It's gonna cost a couple hundred thousand bucks. But there's gonna be opportunities for you, the fans, to get involved. And I know that you're gonna to wanna to be a part of it. So we're gonna do some crowdfunding. We're gonna do some things where you'll be able to uh, pre-purchase tickets for the grand opening. We're gonna have opportunities to have the name of your Ghostbuster franchise or your name or whatever name you'd like dedicated engraved into the building onto a plaque. Also, the opportunity to get uh, exclusive t-shirts, patches, uh, props, other things like that. It, it's going to be really cool and uh, I'm reaching out to uh, Sony and Ghost Core for uh, you know official licensing for all these projects. You know I, I am a Sony vendor as well as a Universal Studios vendor and I've worked with both of those uh, studios before and so I don't think it's going to be a problem and I think that they're going to really appreciate this as much as the fans because I know that people are going to come in from all over the globe to come to Las Vegas for this as a destination attraction. And while you're here, maybe you can go to Zach Baggins Haunted Museum, the Area 15 Meow Wolf Experience, and of course the Back to the 80s Cafe and more, and all these different cool attractions that are what Ghostbuster and Back to the Future fans will love. Not only will we have the Ghostbusters, but we're gonna have our Back to the Future experience with the DeLorean Time Machine, our Knight Rider experience with Kit. We have the Blues Brothers, Blues Mobile. We have Scooby-Doo's uh, Mystery Machine. We have the Scarface convertible Cadillac, the cream puff, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and we also have our Rolls Royce luxury cars. There's gonna be a lot going on here, folks. And I'm really looking forward to next year. Hopefully by next year, maybe the, the, the furthering sequel to Afterlife will be out and we'll get to enjoy that. And also by that time, those cool Hasbro, HasLab Pulse uh, proton packs will be available. And it's just gonna be so much fun. And I cannot wait to meet all of you, the other fans of Ghostbusters here in Las Vegas. So just stay tuned to this channel. Uh, if you wanna know more, it's, it would be very important if you were to both like and subscribe to this video, turn on your notifications so that you're notified and follow along as we build the building, as we build our 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor uh, Ecto-1 and this is going to be an exciting journey over the next year or two. It's going to be great. I'm really excited. I love Ghostbusters. Not only do I love Ghostbusters the movie, I love you guys. I love the Ghostbusters. We are a family. We share in this nostalgia. And I'm doing this not only for me, but I'm doing it for you. There's nothing better than seeing the smiles on the faces of people when they, when they see the firehouse, when they see the car. It's going to be great. I'm just really excited. So please tune in, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the future. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.